So we are at World's End Base Camp, uh, which is a combination of a few organizations, but it's a, a big base camp for Save the Rhino Trust, and also where uh, biologist Jeff from the Minnesota Zoo lives with his uh, wife and two children. And this is my room for the few days that we are here. You can see simple bed, but comfortable. I actually slept better here than I did at the uh, luxurious Desert Rhino Camp, I think because the canvas tents flapping in the wind. They've had very uh, kind of unusual weather with strong east winds. Um, you can see I got the camera set up. This is my desk here. Nice view out the window. And uh, looking at some rhino video actually right now. This is the big bull we saw Tuesday morning. And uh, or maybe we'll put it into an actual scene. I've been watching him a while. Pretty cool. Um, take you through the rest of the place. This is uh, our dining area here behind me. And also the kitchen. It's about lunchtime and I'm hungry. So Jeff's got meetings all day. So we are kind of on our own, but it's got everything here. Uh, they have a refrigerator. All the electricity here is solar powered. And where else but in Africa do you have a tree? You know, right here in the middle of your living room. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then as we walk to the bathroom area, you can see our kitchen, I'm sorry. Here's a simple outdoor kitchen. And behind the bamboo wall is a shower and a sink. Only cold water. Um, there's one hot shower in the whole camp. It is uh, on the other side of the camp, so I haven't actually showered in a couple days because you kind of get to the um, thinking that what's really the point because you're dusty and dirty again in about two and a half minutes. But he's got a big trampoline here for his kids. He's worried that the hyenas are going to eat it all. They love to chew on things. They're told, do not leave anything out. Shoes, anything. Hyenas, sounds like a puppy, basically. They just like to chew on things for no purpose other than to chew on it. But this is world's end. And it sure does seem like, really, the world has ended right here in northwestern Namibia. Get away, fly. All right. So there's a little tour of my digs here at World's End for a few days.